Okay, here we have the Virtual Reef Diver website, and we're going to explain the RShiny app, which will ultimately be a tab or will be embedded in the Virtual Reef Diver website somewhere. So the idea is that students would be directed to come to our Classify tab. They create a login with their email, and ultimately that will allow them to use this Classify page. Once they've done that, they'll jump into this web page that is in development here. So this is currently a prototype. It's not 100% finalized, but this is ultimately what it will look like. They'll come in, there's a little introduction, and they'll step their way through the tabs. So the first tab just involves them entering their student email or whatever email they used to classify images on the Virtual Reef Diver web page. They'll then have to say generate data which will populate a map showing the pins of images they've classified. And then we can see all the classifications we've come through. The details of this table are explained on the first tab that I just clicked through. So if anything goes too fast, you can always pause this video to have a read through of the text. So now that they've generated their own unique data, they go to calculating coverage. This is the page where they practice by just looking at a single image, so it's a bit labor intensive. We're trying to get them to step through everything one at a time so that they really have to go through the effort of calculating something themselves. So we can see this image is almost entirely hard coral. The intention is that the number of points per image will always be 15. We go ahead and add that in, and at the bottom we can see that we've mostly calculated what's the coverage of this image, but we've got a few things missing. So we would go back and try it for the same image, leaving the media ID the same, and selecting another category. Unknown had two. We can add that to our coverage data frame. Other had one. And now we could step through the rest of the categories, but we can see that with those three, we've completely calculated all the coverage of this image. The percent cover adds up to 100%. Going to the next tab, we're now looking at means and standard deviations. So we have to get our data. This does not build on tab three. It's getting all our data from all our images. We want to pick a classification. Let's go with hard coral. And now we can see for every image that we classified, we have a percent covered by hard coral. So we can type that in here, adding all those together, and we can type in the total number of observations, which is going to be equal to our total number of images classified. That's a piece of information we'll be adding into the app. Again, there's still some um, bits and pieces that need cleaning up and will be changed. Once we've done that, we can go into our last tab of visualizations. Um, this is also in progress, so the collate data is there, and then you generate plot, but this part isn't quite finished yet. Um, we may have to put this visualizations tab on hold for now, as it's more for the student assessment and student data, student data experiment. Tabs one through four are really for the student prac, so those might um, be live sooner than this fifth tab, which is still a work in progress. But this would basically allow them to choose what kind of data they want to look at and choose what kind of plot they want to generate and um, would give the students a lot more flexibility to interrogate the data in their own ways. So that's about it for now.